Alright folks, we're all set for our main event here with Mac Taylor facing off against Agent Gibbs. Mac Taylor getting started here with some offense. Oh, there's a vicious choke slam from Mac Taylor just lifting him up and slamming him down. I was going to follow up the leg breaker. Trying to get in control here. A little stomp and a kick to the face. Being dominant early on, but now uh, Meiji Gibbs is going to reverse it. There's a face buster. They drive that knee into the skull there. Here we go with an Irish whip into the corner. Oh man, a huge jaw jacking drop kick. There's a disgusting choke, just bending the rules a little bit. Oh, and a nasty foot DDT from Agent Gibbs. Oh, he's looking for a little retribution after that flurry of offense from Mac early on. Let's see, he keeps the momentum going here, and it um, looks like Mac's back in control with the suplex. Now both of these men have been World Heavyweight Champion. Gibbs is the current champion. He's been champion for about nine months, ever since around WrestleMania. And Mac Taylor was champion a couple of months before that, but he lost it to Alucard. And Horatio Kane won it at WrestleMania, but then Gibbs cashed in the money in the bank. And he has been the champion ever since as he nails the senton. What a beautiful senton. He goes for the pin, but there's a rope break. Mac had his foot on the rope. Now Gibbs is lifting up Mac. He's going to send him crashing to the ground there, and he's got him in a submission hold. Just stretching out those ligaments there. Going for the pin. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, and Mac Taylor just barely kicks out. Referee's hand was coming down for that three count, but Mac Taylor manages to escape, and the match carries on with a power slam. Vicious power slam from Mac Taylor. There's an elbow drop. Mac Taylor looking to get back in control here with the Irish whip. Just throwing him over the ropes there, and there's a nice looking suplex from Mac Taylor. He picks him back up, going back on the offensive there. There's another Irish whip. Oh, and a nice shoulder block just sending him into the ropes there. Now he's got Gibbs on the ropes, and he's going to follow up with a Mac attack here. Oh, what a shot, just driving him right down into the ropes. Looking a little loopy, but now Gibbs is back in control here. Oh, there's a nice clothesline just sending Mac down on the hard floor below. And the fight is spilled outside the ring as Gibbs follows up with an elbow drop there. Tossing Mac into the barricade. Back goes crashing into that hard security barricade as he falls up with a drop kick. Picking him up here. Oh, and his face just comes down on that barricade. This this is getting brutal. And I don't think either of these men care about the 10 count the referee is giving right now. They better get back in the ring pretty soon here. Otherwise, this match is going to end in a double count out. And what a disappointment that would be for our main event as Gibbs is tearing apart the announce table. Mac throws him on the announce table and he's setting him up for something. He's getting back in the ring here of just barely avoiding the 10 count. Now going to the top rope. Oh, and a moonsault right through the table. The table is a million pieces here as Mac Taylor went flying off the top rope and just sent Gibbs through the table. And now Gibbs sends him careening through those steel steps. His shins collide with the steel and he's got to be in pain. Oh, and now he just starts an assault on the shoulders there. He's driving the elbow into the shoulder and he's going for it again here. Because Gibbs is pretty pissed about going through that table as Mac reverses it. I was going to toss Gibbs in the ring here. What he's going to do now? Looks like he's going to drag him in the center of the ring here. Maybe he's going to go for a cover. Oh, well, uh, Gibbs is getting back up here. Oh, and a nice little shoulder block. Use that shoulder block a few times tonight pretty effectively. Oh, and DDT's in a shockwave up the neck and spine. Now Max going for a cover. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, and Gibbs just barely kicks out here. Boy, I thought that was going to be a three count there. I thought the match was over. As Gibbs has him in a grapple, and now Mac has him in a headlock. Gibbs escapes. Back into the arm hold there, and back into the headlock from Mac. Now, oh, a vicious headbutt to the arm. Just trying to render that arm useless there. He's going to follow up with the knee to the spine. Just dropping that knee right on Gibbs' spine. Now he goes for a cover, and there's a rope break. 
Now Mac Taylor is taunting, uh, not very wisely here. This is Gibbs is going to Irish whip him into the corner. Oh, and another drop kick. Oh, he got him right in the yam bags again, bending the rules here. Oh, there's that foot DDT again. Oh, Max back on his feet here. What's he going to do now? Looks like he's going to go for his Chaos Theory suplex here. He hoists him up. Oh, and here we go. I think Max won the match because nobody comes back from that move. Going to drag him away from the ropes here and go for the cover. All right, here we go. And one, two, three. Max Taylor wins this one. And what a great main event, folks. Well... Thank you for joining us and we hope you join us next time and be sure to check out our other videos.